Link 2012. Where are you? There it is. See it? Just making torches everywhere. It's gonna look weird in this place now, though, with all the torches. Actually, you know, we're gonna break the set for now. Just because I don't want torches everywhere. And we're gonna have to check out to see how strong this set actually is. You know, we're gonna go against some skeletons. I really don't need this haste potion on us right now. Potion of swiftness. This is really a special potion. But we don't have any more room for special potions. I guess we can just put it in here. Man, that's an amazing potion. And you can still stack it with other stuff. Bottles. Why do we have so many XP bottles? We don't need these anymore, really. You know, it's 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 absurd how much we have. Protection four, protection four, smite five. Five's pretty cool. Give that. Nine emeralds, so we can go place the final emerald block. And actually, I'm gonna go put away. Some sleeping stones. Because we don't need them all. Alright. Nine emeralds. Let's go make the final emerald block. Oh, and I want to dye this set a different color soon. Because I really don't like black. I want to make it white. And when white's easy to obtain anyways. So. Gem rewards. It's going to be so different, though, because I'm not going to have... Oh, I remember. <laughs> you see? Little convenient things like that. Alright, there we go! Boom! Keep inventory! Emerald ability placed. Uh, ability to unlock to uh, keep inventory. Congratulations! You have completed the Emerald Monument. Don't forget to take a victory screenshot and share it on the forums. Well... I did it. I did it. And now torches are being placed everywhere by the little bat. We're trying to place them everywhere. The issue is, uh, oh man, I'm so used to the to the the boots that I just fall differently now. It just feels so different. Oh boy, man, this is so weird. This is so, so weird right now. Let's go. Um, it seems like it's a bit later in the night, too. All right. Teleporters, residents. Teleporters, run teleporters. We haven't unlocked. Oh, we don't need to go to the teleporters. Remember, we have to go this way. We go from the monument. Over. Here we go. Now we're right on track. It was really fun to get that bat working. Alright, but now this area is going to be a singe thanks to that bat. We're still pretty fast, actually, when holding a torch. I'm not disappointed. Now, if I fall, I do take a heart of damage, so that is something to note. I need to keep this on if I'm falling. That way I don't take any damage. Or at least I take minimal damage. Yeah, this is gonna be some adjust take some adjusting, really. If we're gonna keep using this set. We don't know if we're gonna keep using this set or not. Alright, this is actually sort of scary. But I have faith in my new set. Come on, I need to get up here. Ouch! Nope, 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 nope. Alright, right, we're good. And that's more recalls. 
Oh, good, we got some. I'm not quite as scared of these guys. Let's see how much damage they do. Five hearts still. Five hearts. Five hearts. Five hearts. Five hearts. Five hearts. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm a one hit killer right now to them. Man, that's a bummer. I thought this set was going to be different. I would be like invincible. But no, sir. Just an ordinary guy. I guess protection three isn't that that, that helpful. The resistance, though, I the resistance just protects against everything. I would be surprised. It didn't help as much as it did. All right. Anyways. Well. Oh, I see. This is actually sort of tricky. So if a creeper explodes, he opens up the area for the other creepers to explode. So that guy actually, those were actually innocent. They wouldn't have hurt us at all. I believe this area is also a trap. Can't, no, there's some place here that's a trap. Can't remember where it is. Right, well, I'm still more confident against those guys than before. They were, I think we were like a two hit kill before. Now we're a uh, three or four hit kill to the to the recalls. But my question is, where are the creeper spawners? I'm thankful that our bat's doing work here. I'm still scared of the creepers. Even though they do like no damage. Like, watch this. Okay, maybe they do a bit of damage. Four hearts. That's as much as the, uh, which one call it, though, as the recalls. And if you look under there, there's actually an entire area filled with... <laughs> with the mists. If you go down there, you, you die, pretty much. <laughs> right. Come on. Get out of here. Perfect. The main perk of this set, though, is really the torch placement. Very helpful. Because it's not just torch placement where you're standing, but it's torch placement wherever the, the bat's going. Or the... I, I you really can't call this thing a bat. It's its own thing. It's own little thing. I am curious about down there, though. Okay, so any any of the uh, of those things that that are down there stay permanently. I don't think it's that is filled down there with them. Blast protection. I'll take that. Efficiency and sharpness. I'll take that. I'm just curious. I'm morbidly curious as to what's down here. I don't know if there's any... Nope, there's nothing. It's just... Just this sort of thing right here. Oh, where did I come in? This question right here. We're good. Oh, I love levitation. It's annoying, though, now, because now we have to keep it on hand when we're in midair. So you know how before we would used to jump up and shoot? Now we have to actually switch back to it in order to not take fall damage. I guess I can sort of manage it. But it's a lot more difficult. And we don't stay in the air as long, so it's not as easy to do that. Yeah, you guys take that. <laughs> I don't believe there's anything around here. Yeah, the one up there is the, the close one. You know, this is just sort of a progression to the next set of which call it. Okay, so we got one over there, we got two over there, and I think we got one more down there. That's it. That's it. Oh, I love overloads. These guys are so easy to kill, man. So easy, so fun. Oh boy. Get out of here. There we go. 
Dapples re regenerate so much health. They regenerate six hearts, because you got the four absorption hearts. Then you've got another two uh, basic hearts that they normally recover. Right, I really shouldn't be going this way first. I just want to get this. <laughs> Alright. Boom. Regeneration for two minutes. Ooh, I'm taking that. Bad day. Right, we're getting a new spawner buster too. It looks like our spawner buster is wearing out. I don't know the exact durability on it, of course, but I know it's not a lot. Now, I believe... Okay, so here's the cool thing. I love adding little unique concepts to my areas, and this is one of them. Uh, where you can shoot this thing. And shoot a lot of them. In order to take down whatever you want. This was tricky to get to work, though. There were some bugs involving it. I can't remember the story behind those bugs, though. I wish I could. It looks like you can only destroy the glass, though. The clay is a little bit more difficult to destroy. That's really the only... That's really the hard... This is the hard area to get through without using it. Because there's just all this... All this junk. And there's these eggs that spawn the skeletons. Oh boy, this is actually awful. This is legitimately awful. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Woo! We're okay. That was a little bit scarier than I thought it was gonna be. A little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. Alright, let's try the other end while we wait for them to, uh... I don't, I don't know what they'll do. These fireballs are weird, though. There's always a second that they're not... Wait, can we actually kill the crystal from over here? Yeah, we were actually, we were actually able to kill the crystal from over here. Can we kill spawners, though? Yes, we can. Let's take down some of those spawners. Come on. Just to shoot that general region. Oops! Alright, whatever. We'll just go in and destroy all the spawners on our own. Most of them. So many, though. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. Overloads. Oh, we should really place down the sword and skull right now. We don't have any on us! No, we forgot! We put them away! We really shouldn't have. Spawners, man. Like, if we hadn't taken it down using that thing, I don't know what. I, the thing is, I think there's a treasure chest. Uh, there's a chest over here, and that's what I want. That's why I'm actually still pushing. We might want to go away for a minute, though. Because it looks like there's a lot of problems over there. Yeah, there's just too many skeletons. Let's, let's move on. For now. Okay. Let's go in here. Ooh, this place looks pretty bad too. I don't know where they're spawning from. Okay, so they're, they're in pillars like these ones. Oh, I saw that. Take that recall, and this actually not lagging as much as it was when I was testing this map, which is good. I suppose when I redid Minecraft and everything, it just helped out. I also have my computer op operating on optimal performance according to my BIOS, so that could help out too a little bit. I'm just going to mine through all these, because it seems as though people are in them. All recalls. All recall people? No, definitely not. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe.
Alright. Yeah, this was a fun part in the trailer. I remember having my bro, my brother, on his account. He was building up, and he placed TNT on one of these and uh, lit it to blow it up. Yeah, this one's in in inside a sort of soggy egg thing. I don't even know what to call it. Right, so the question is, are there any chests in here? Oh, yep, that just answered my question. Ha <laughs> ha. Come here. Rune chest plate. Perfect. Just what I needed. I'm sure there's more than just that. There's gotta be something more on this end too, right? Nah, it doesn't look like it, actually. Unless I'm missing something, I don't see another chest. There's nothing below there. There's just that one over there, I guess. Oh well. They're gone. <laughs> and they spawned a bunch of baddies with them. That's okay. Let's actually take a little backpack break. We can get some more of this, put this away. Not that. Yeah, gapples. <laughs> We're eating so many golden apples. Uh, oh boy. Is there anything in the rooftops? No, I don't think so. Looks like most things despawn though. Oh, not the creepers. Who cares about creepers? They're not a big deal. The big deal are the recalls. Oh boy, why are there so many spawners in this area and nowhere else? I guess because you can blow stuff up over here, so I figured, oh, well, players are going to blow it up, right? And that'll help them out. No, there's still so many, so many of these guys spawning. Right, very good. I did not mean to do that. I don't see anything over here. Seriously, did I come over here for nothing? This place was actually difficult. Is there anything in here? No, not at all. Wow, he just exploded. Nuts! And then he's getting close to me without me noticing. Alright, there's one more spawner over here, looks like. Yeah, it doesn't really matter though, because there's no chest over there. I'm bummed! I thought there was a chest! I'm sad. I'm very sad. One over here. There's two over here. Two spawners. Oh boy, that one's actually sort of hard to get to. Oh, this is an interesting pillar. This is hold, helping to hold up the place. And yeah, you see the all, all of these things are webs. All these different webs of uh purple stained stuff. There's so much purple in this area, it's interesting. Purple is one of the most significant colors in this map, actually. Well, not in this area, in this in these sections. You know, the sections with... Oh, come on. There we go. Perfect. All right, I don't know how many spawners are in here. But I know that we're going to try to take whatever is in here down. Hey, would you look at that? There's an error. Must have accidentally spawned. We are very far away from that area, though, I think. So I'm very surprised that we have Or are we? I can't remember. We'll look back when uh, when we do the game mode 3. I might actually be close. I know there's something under there. 
And there's a chest under there too. Mm. That's gonna be a tricky one to get to. Ha ha! It's on fire! Now let's go under here. Hmm, hollow. Oh, that was nice. We took down one of the spawners. Oh, nope. There's probably more spawners in here, so let's just light it all up. <laughs> Perfect. So we got a rune helmet. Nice. So we got full rune set now. still baffled that there's no chest on the other end. Uh, well, we might have destroyed it. That's, that's what might have happened. Just gonna double check around here. Looks like there's nothing. Oh well. Let's move on. And thanks to all the, the the things that they the skeletons have laid down, we're actually losing a lot of hunger. Oh, we have one more. We have one more uh, crystal to break. Oh wait a minute. Oh man, there's so much more to this though. We haven't gotten to the end yet, but the end has some cool stuff for us. So this is just a drop off right here that goes down. It looks like some skeletons have already been placing death here, but that's good because that means that we don't have to deal with it quite as much. <laughs> 